have a new trailer for Ahsoka. Let's do this. War is inevitable. One must destroy in order to create. We are no Jedi. I started hearing whispers of Thrawn's return as heir to the Empire. What happens when we find Thrawn? Power, such as you've never dreamed. I've spent most of my life fighting a war. That's why I'm trying to convince you to help me prevent another one. You and I both know who could help you with this. She's still just as stubborn as ever. I bet your master found you difficult at times. Anakin never got to finish my training. I walked away from him, just like I walked away from Sabine. You never made things easy for me. Master. As a Jedi, sometimes you have to make the decision no one else can. But I'm counting on you to see this through. Nice haircut. <laughs> Sometimes we have to do what's right, regardless of our personal feelings. Buckle up. If we don't stop Thrawn, everything will be in vain. You have no power. Anakin spoke highly of you. I'm not here to discuss my past. We have a lot of work to do. Once a rebel, always a rebel. Alrighty, let me know down below in the comment section, what did you think about the latest trailer for Ahsoka and what is your excitement level in general for the show? So as for me, ah, man, I, I have a lot of hesitation about a lot of upcoming Star Wars concerns and the quality's been very up and down. Both of these trailers for Ahsoka have hit all the right notes for me of feeling like I think we need a Star Wars show like this. That's this very Star Warsy of big gigantic galactic threats, space wizards, laser swords, the whole deal that feels very Star Wars. I loved Andor and I think it's great and I can defend it, but it doesn't feel like Star Wars. And, you know, my kids have no interest in it. Some people found it boring or whatever. And I get that. I don't think that that's like unreasonable. But I think you need something that's really exciting. That's also very Star Warsy right now. And I watch that trailer and that that's what it feels like to me. Whether, um, you know, Thrawn return or Thrawn finally being in live action as this threat that's looming while you have these other people that are clearly force users that were not Jedi, all of the right beats, everything that I kind of want to see in all this. I will say this though, it feels like a show that's layering on a lot of, I don't know if niche is the right word, but there's one perspective that says that, oh, it's bringing in Thrawn, 30-year history in the books, then he's in Rebels. So you're bringing in this character that could pull in some people that, you know, love him from the books and everything. And he goes, oh, it's, it's got a lot of Clone Wars in there because it's obviously Ahsoka. It's got a lot of, a ton of Rebels in there. And they've even said this is like Rebels season five. There's a sense in which you could say that and, 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 it, and it's pulling in these different groups from books, different TV shows. The flip side to that is that it it's also Star Wars is this big, very big and broad. And then you have these segmented TV shows or books and even an incredibly popular book, an incredibly popular character from the books is still a much smaller segment of the Star Wars fandom than 
the movies and the broad stuff. And so when you kind of take a couple of these segments and stack them on top of each other, if you don't know who Thrawn is, if you didn't read Heir to the Empire, that's a reference that you don't get. Like, why do you care who Thrawn is? If you didn't watch Rebels, a ton of this stuff, you're like, who are these people? If you didn't watch Clone Wars, you're not as excited about Ahsoka. So I have a little bit of a fear that if you have a show that is giving us a lot of Star Warsy stuff, is it too inside baseball? Is it too many tight references that a lot of the audience won't understand or catch? I have some fears about that. I watched the trailer and I went, oh, that looks cool. I wish I had time to rewatch Clone Wars and Rebels before all this to, to get acclimated to all of it uh, and have it all of that fresh on my mind. I wish I had time to do that. There's just too much. But I'm excited for it, uh, and it, it's hitting a lot of the right notes, and I, I think it might be. If it's not too inside baseball, if it's not too niche, if it doesn't alienate people with too many references to shows they haven't seen and books they haven't read, if it doesn't do that, I think this might be exactly the Star Wars show that we need right now that just has very Star Wars-y feel of saving the galaxy, good space wizards versus bad space wizards. Let me know what you thought down below in the comment section and keep talking.